A few weeks back, I posted a review of some portable projectors, and immediately after this, I got an email that read something along the lines of, Yo, Stu, we can do better than that. And here it is. The Nomadic L500 self-advertised is the world's smallest triple laser projector. And I've got to say, it's pretty bloody impressive considering that it's smaller than your average Tupperware box. Now you're probably asking two questions right now. Who are Nomadic and what makes tri-laser technology so special? As for Nomadic, these guys are relatively new to the game, but they've certainly entered hard with the coolest looking projectors that I've seen for a good while. They've certainly gone against the grain anyway with their design, and I really, really like that. It certainly adds a bit of flavor. The only thing is, their company, Nomadic, is actually spelt like this. Nomvedic but it's pronounced nomadic, which could lead to some confusion. But this aside, they've certainly hit the ground running with the technology, and especially in the L500, with its tri-laser technology in such a small form factor. So what is tri-laser? Well, without going into too much of the boffin talk, quite simply, it means that it's gonna be brighter, and whilst being brighter, it's also gonna offer better color depth that other types of projector light sources just can't provide. And it's gonna be impossible to show you this. As I'd be filming with a camera that has bias, compressed through editing software, compressed again through uploading to YouTube, and then you're streaming it right now on whatever device you've got, which will also have a color bias. So unless you're looking at it with your naked eyes, you just aren't going to be able to truly appreciate the splendor of the picture that this thing delivers. And with that said, I do have an exaggerated example of the difference that having this tri-laser technology makes. Now in the first image on a regular projector, you might find that the color tends to block or overexpose in certain areas. Whereas on the L500, you'll find there's a ton more definition, especially where the color fades between other colors. You can see on this graph how that works with the single laser projector color range being a significant smaller space than that of the L500 tri-laser technology. But what can I say? It's really, really impressive and makes a massive difference when viewing anything on this projector. The depth of color is just so impressive and so is the brightness. At 650 ANSI lumens, it's probably one of the brightest projectors of this size that I've tested to date. And to match this incredible brightness, it's capable of displaying an image up to 180 inches at 1080p, which is astounding. Even in lighter scenarios, the picture remains extremely clear. I mean, I'd advise almost everyone, if you're buying a projector, the darker the environment, the better it will be. But with the Tri-Laser and the 650 ANSI lumens, it does give you a better flexibility, even with the ability to have the lights on in the room in front of the projector, which normally would wash out the colors and brightness of other projectors. In this case, it remains completely usable. But what's more impressive is how they've built this high-end tech into this tiny little body. And I think it's actually quite a standout design. It's small and rounded, kind of a bit like a pebble. And it has this shiny blue accent along the front and the top buttons as well. They're all touch sensitive and the inputs on the back are HDMI and USB-C for image, along with USB for memory sticks and hard drives. But what's most immediately noticeable are the large vents on the side of the actual projector. Because this unit is so small and the power is so great, they've added these to ensure that the device can stay cool during use and that the fans don't overwork. And I think they've done a really good job with this. And this has essentially added to the fact that it's kept the noise of the fan quite low. At around one meter away, it was reading around the 36, 37 decibels, which is extremely quiet. To give you some comparisons, that's about as quiet as a library. I mean, even the average fridge is louder than this projector at around 55 decibels. So you'd have to admit that that is actually a pretty impressive stat, that this is quieter than your fridge. Now, another little detail, which I think is fantastic, and this is mostly because it's surprising how many smaller projectors don't actually have this feature, but Nomadic have included a little flip stand in the base alongside the standard tripod thread, if I can get it out with my nail. 
There we are. Look at that. This means that you can pop it onto any table, flip the kickstand out, and then project it upwards. Might be better if it was a little bit longer and there was more kind of adjustability, but they've included it. And that's something you don't see very often in portable projectors. And I just don't understand why, because it makes complete sense. So I love the fact that they've included that. And to pair up nicely with this, they've also added auto keystone and autofocus technology so that if you do decide to move it about, it'll automatically adjust to the right size and angle for the best viewing experience. Now, there's one further element of the pitch quality that I think some people will absolutely love, and that's the addition of MEMC, which you don't often find in projectors of this size and price range, but you'll recognize this type of technology from TVs where, in a nutshell, it creates the impression of a smoother and sharper image by manipulating the space in between frames. Some people love this because it really does make the image smoother and sharper and has a particularly positive effect when using this projector as a gaming display or as a sports display. Things just look super crisp, but I do recognize that that's not everyone's cup of tea. I know that a few people will immediately turn off all frame processing on TVs that they buy, for example. And I'm afraid to say that I'm one of those people. And the reason for this is that for me, it's not displaying the media in the way it was intended on being viewed by the director. Now, I guess this is why most people use this particular type of feature with things like gaming and sports, because they're not really designed to be filmed in a particular way. In fact, I'd be super interested to find out here if anyone does actually leave this kind of motion frame processing on, or do you all turn it off like me? Do let me know in the comments. I'll be genuinely interested to find out. But fortunately, for people like me, whether I'm the odd one out or not, uh, it can be turned off in the settings. The thing is, though, even if you do turn it off, this thing runs at 60 hertz, so it will be excellent for most console games, especially given that most console games run at around 30 to 60 FPS, with the exception of obviously some newer fast-paced things, which might be able to stretch to 120 but often at a sacrifice to the graphics quality. Games often give you the choice now between higher FPS or higher graphics, and in the case of this projector, always opt for the graphics every time. Now, I've got one final point to add about the projection experience, and that's the sound quality. The sound is by Harman Kardon, one of the most respectable names in audio technology, so it's brilliant to see a collaboration here between Nomadic and these guys. And it evidently has been a very beneficial integration because the sound is somewhat excellent for a speaker of this size. To be honest, it actually took me by a little surprise. Seriously, the sound of this is excellent, and it wasn't something I expected from this size. And it's a real gold star for this projector by far. Seriously, if it gets any awards, that'll be the award it gets. The sound quality. And because the fan noise is so quiet, when you've got the volume up on this, the fan noise just melts away into being pretty much invisible, adding to the overall immersion. So now that you know this thing performs way beyond my expectations for a projector of this size when it comes to the quality, what about the software experience? Well, I'm going to come right out and say that the internal software is definitely not this projector's strong point. In fact, I would love to see a bit of an overhaul for me to want to actually use the internal software. And that's because it doesn't do a great deal. It loads up to a really simple interface with a few sub-menus, and there are a few apps that you can load onto it for direct streaming through the Nomadic App Store. But that's about it for a software experience, which is why I'm pleased that this projector supports input through HDMI or USB-C, because it means that I'm going to be able to forget about the internal software and use the third-party system of my choice. In my case, a simple fire stick, which can also be powered from the projector. So, in my opinion, if you're buying this projector, you're buying it for the projection technology and capabilities and price point, and not the inbuilt software experience.
And talking about price point, this is perhaps the most impressive thing about this projector. It probably offers some of the best value for money that I've come across if you're looking for a tri-laser projector, because this thing and its RRP is £879. However, when I checked whilst writing my thoughts on the price, it was on a significant discount, making it extremely good value for money. So it's always worth checking out the link in the description to see what price this is currently at. In fact, at its discounted rate, I can find nothing else that comes close to this level of projection technology. So it was actually one of the best deals that I've seen all year. But as always, there are a couple of things that I really wanted from this projector. And the first and foremost is what I've already mentioned earlier in a slightly better software experience. However, obviously, like I said, I can forgive this on this occasion due to the flexibility of the input. So that's not so much of a big deal. Secondly, I would have loved if it had had an internal battery. It's super small and compact and features a ton of technology that makes it ideal for portability, but it lacks an internal battery which can hinder where I want to use this. It means that I'm limited essentially to being in range of a plug socket at all times. Again, this is not a massive deal, but it's just one of those things that would have brought this nearer to top marks for me. And my last and final consideration is that this doesn't have built-in eye protection like some of the more expensive laser projectors out there which will shut the beam off if it detects someone standing in front of it. Of course, that would add more money to the build and make it cost a lot more, but with this in mind, you are gonna to wanna to try and avoid looking directly into the beam as this will immediately melt your eyeballs. But other than those three things, this is a really solid little device. And if you're looking for a maximum impact for the best price in a small package, then this definitely makes a list of projectors that I would recommend simply because you'll find it hard pushed to find a tri-laser projector with this level of quality at this price point. And it's for that reason that it really stands out for me and it makes it a fantastic option for people setups. Remember, I'll drop a link below so you can take a look at the L500 yourself. And if you love home theatre type kit, then why not check out our review of the Valencia Cinema Seats that we reviewed a couple of years ago, actually. But other than that, guys, if you're new to Shoes Reviews, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you back for another episode soon.